So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? So as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, today I am bringing you a bit of a different video. Uh, today I'm actually going to bring you the Battle of the Binders. So I've got a Dragon Shield Ring Binder here for my collection, uh, and also picked up an Ultra Pro. Um, Xeno skin as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through both of these products. Now um, we'll talk about the looks, the practicalities for it, and I've also got the insides as well. So these are the ring binders that take there you go the three by three pockets that you put your cards in, side loaders and everything. Uh, and I, I, I pretty much picked these up for my own collection. So I picked them up for collection and just to kind of tidy up um, <laughs> my abundance of cards. Uh, so basically. I'm going to take you through the, the two of them, the, uh, the comparisons, the differences, uh, and basically which one I kind of prefer off the, the offset, uh, and then value about the prices as well. So, obviously, as you can see, they are big, big binders, so we're going to have to do one at a time to go through each one. Now, they both retail about the same price. Now, I paid £24 for this one, and £20 for this one. This one came from my locals, this one came from Amazon. Um, you can get different colours of both of these, so this one, you can actually get different dragons, um, which is the colours, and they then go up to about 25 quid as well. Uh, and then the Xeno skins as well, you can have different colours on those. You can get this in a 4x3 as well, so as we have 4 along the top and then 3 down. And you can get them in smaller sizes as well. Now, straight off the bat, you can tell, um, let's start, let's leave the Dragon Shield 1 for later, because I'm already impressed with the Dragon Shield 1, and I'll explain why later. Brand new sealed, so I'm going to open this up here. It shouldn't be too hard. Now, this one actually, the one thing that this has over the Dragon Shield one um, is where the Dragon Shield one looks better, this one feels better. This one feels like it's got some decent padding to it. It's got a nice um, velvet kind of feel on the front as well. I think it's a bit warped. It looks a little bit warped. Um, but you see, yay, free paper. <laughs> um, it's got none of the, the you know, the little like black um, bar or the metal bar that you just clip and keeps everything in place. But I believe when I looked at this, this could hold 360 sheets, something like that. Um, but basically, the innards you get for this, the best thing about these is the innards again are about seven, five to seven quid, depending on what color you get. And that's the one thing that made me get the Ultra Pro innards is um, the uh, sorry, no, ultimate guard image is it does come in different colors so you got brown or it's kind of like gold uh, black you got blue you got green so instantly that says to me I can organize my cards via like links rituals spells brown can be monsters blacks can be anything um, you can actually organize a lot better now the dragon shields are a little bit different they do come in different colors as well um, but they come in in like big packs so the um, Ultimate Guards come in packs of 10, these come in uh, packs of 18. Now I'm pretty sure this is just the standard, um, oh no sorry, 50, 50 tough uh, polypropylene binder pages to fit all the binders in. Now it looks like they're black, um, I'm hoping they are black textured backings. So I'm hoping these are going to basically be the same, there you go, these are about 18 quid for a pack as well. Uh, they're going to be the same as the old McGull ones, where they've got that texture to it as well. Um, so you can see where the organisation is going. Um, so, practicality-wise, uh, I think both of them share the same effect. These can pretty much fill in as much as you like. Um, you probably want to be getting it to about that size, give or take. That's when you filled up enough, because then eventually you're going to get bored of doing all this. Um, but yeah, the feel of it, the texture of it, the padding of it, makes you feel like you've got a bit more quality to it, uh, and a bit more sturdiness to it as well. Um, I will end up filling this up and then I'll do a review video at the end once it's full up. Um, but again, just off the, the offset of it, paying 24 quid for something like this, um, for what looks like quality, um, is definitely worth it on that one on my sense. Now moving on to the Dragon Shield one. Now the Dragon Shield one, I instantly love Dragon Shield at this moment. I just think that the difference that they produce with the artwork is just stunning. So as you can see, this one actually comes in its own little box. Now just look at this. The dragon wraps all the way around it. And if you get the other dragons, can you imagine just having these lined up on the side? We've got all of these different dragons that come together. Or the front. Anyway, so you've got like a nice little protective case for it and then you get the binder in front. Now the best thing about that is it can open up, bang on like that. So it doesn't need to be squashed down. Um, 
don't actually think it lets it, yeah, so it doesn't let it touch, the metal doesn't let it touch that end, which is good because I want it to be like that. I'm going to fill this up with so many. Um, and then the binder pretty much represents the same. So you've got the dragon down the spine. So you can imagine that if you, the ideally what you want to do is line these up. So imagine you put these on the shelf, you're going to line them up like this and you're just going to have all the different dragon heads. See, I've even still got the price sticker on it. I picked this up just after Christmas, so I got a bit of discount. Woo, winning. Um, yeah, so onto the binder itself. Again, quality-wise, it's actually really sturdy. But unlike the Ultra Pro Xeno skin, there's no padding to it. So it is just pure, strong cardboard. So where you're sacrificing the padding for this, you get a nice little box. Um, again, opening it up, it is just pure cardboard. So there's no like felt feel or anything like that. Uh, it does come with this thing here. Now, this is <laughs> on the wrong way around. But it doesn't... Well, I don't think it has much usage to it, does it? There must be a reason to it because obviously you can move it up. You can move it up to pin it in place. So it just means that your binders, like if you pop this up into place now, your pages aren't going to go further than this here. Um, but yeah, you're going to put this on top of these. There you go. You put it on top of that, uh, on top of your pages that way, and you're going to pop them in that way. And the pages aren't going to be flopping about. Um, but the way I see it is, I'm probably going to stand this up on its side just to display it because it's going to look awesome. Uh, again, around about 20, 25 quid, depending on what type of dragon you want on it as well. Uh, and kind of go from there. And like I showed you on the innards, unlike the Ultra Pro, uh, Ultimate Guards one, where they come in uh, packs of 10, these ones you can only get uh, as individuals at your locals, or you get them in um, box packs like this. This was So if this is 50, which I believe it is, uh, this only costs me like 18 quid off of Amazon. I think they're like 20 quid from locals as well. So you can definitely pick those up. They say no glare, so I'm assuming there's a bit of a matte feel to it or a matte into it as well. Um, if it were just to go off the picture on the back, and look at the difference in um, the hole punches, I'm pretty sure they match up the same. So if you wanted to, which is probably what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to get the Ultimate Guard innards for my Dragon Shield binder. <laughs> um, so on the balance of those two, straight off the bat, I... Physical, look, price-wise, both the same. I don't think there's any argument whatsoever. Um, it then comes down to your personal preference. Now, if I was to be, if I was someone said to me, right, you can have one of these. You can have as many as you want, but you can have one of them. I would personally, for collection-wise, go for Dragon Shield. Now, the reason I go Dragon Shield, I just like the artwork. I love the dragons. Um, I think the cardboard quality of it is still very, very good. It's very sturdy. I love that you get this additional box with it, um, just because it, I, I feel like being able to put this in there and then have this stood up and just looking looking at all the dragons like lined up in a line really really good obviously the, the, what you could do is you could do blue okay so this could be extra deck green dragon could be spells red dragon can be like traps if you want it to be so you can kind of organize it that way now that's not to say the ultimate gold one is bad at all i think the ultimate gold one if you feel like you want a plush feel to it you want to feel that there's a bit of padding there's a bit more quality um then i'll definitely go for this one this one is a bit more luxury in my opinion because what you're doing is you're paying for the quality of this one you're paying for i like the felt feel i want my i like the padding i want my cars to feel like they're living in luxury in a sense uh you go with the dragon shield one if you prefer artwork you prefer the style um and, and that's kind of what I like. like. I want, when I'm putting stuff together, I don't want to be seeing, seeing like a bland coloured binder. I want to be able to go, yeah, my cards are in this cool binder here. Uh, and that's the difference between the two. Then when it comes to innards, now I, I, I've heard that Dragon Shield do different coloured innards. Um, I'm not too sure. I've only been able to see the black ones. But the one thing that Ultimate Guard definitely went on is the range of coloured innards. Now, for example, like I've said with these ones, green, I can organise all my spells. Um, now, like I said, these can range between five to eight pounds, depending on what color. Some colors are harder to get, so they go up to like 10 quid. Um, they do have, now the one big thing I do have the issue with these is even though it's got the, um, the texture on these, these can actually rip quite easily. Um, I haven't had a time to kind of test them. Now the idea is you're not going to be rough with these, whether you're going to use the binders or whether you're going to use the innards, you're not going to be rough with them. You only want to be using it for your collection purposes only. Um, but yeah, between the two, I think that they're both amazing. It comes down to personal preference, really, um, which one you want. Like I said, I'm more of a Dragon Shield right now, in my opinion. I just think it looks cooler. I think the box makes it look neater, uh, and it just gives a bit more artwork to my collection or to your individual collection. But I feel that the Ultimate Guard still has that little edge of quality as well to it. Um, yeah, if, you, if any of you out there have actually got these yourself and you have your collection in them, let me know what your thoughts are on them. I'd like to know what you thought, like if you've had the two between the test them, uh, and let me know what you kind of feel for them. I, like I said, 
I think they're both going to be good. That's why I've bought both of them. I've got both the inners. I can test out which one I feel is best. Um, I can kind of put a set of collection in one of them. I can set the collection in the other one. Uh, and the best thing, because you've got the different kind of innards, if you do want to organise your stuff into spells, traps, and monsters, um, rather than you having to go, right, I need to have a binder for spells, I need to buy for spells, you can actually just do the innards, and the innards can go, right, okay, I've only got 100 spells, that can all go that way. Um, I've got this one, I've got that one. So on, on the face of it, if you just want any innards, you're paying 18 quid for 50 Dragon Shield ones, um, and that's going to cover you for 18... Uh, 180 times 5? <laughs> yes, my voice went higher because I can't remember the maths. Um, I'm not doing the maths. So you get 180 out of 10. So each um, Ultimate Guard one will cover 180 cards. Now you can put them in two in each pocket. Um, I'd probably advise, as it's collection, to probably put one in each pocket just to make sure it doesn't tear or be overstretched. Um, so you're looking at 180 per pack. So you're paying about uh, 18p? If you, if, if you were to spend a tenner on it, you'd be paying about a pound uh, per sheet. With the Dragon Shield one, you're paying a little bit less because you're paying 20 quid. So you're paying about 50p, maybe less per sheet as well. Anyway, uh, like I said, 20 quid for a binder is the going rate. Now, I will quickly show you. I'll show you my very first binder. So this is the very first binder I picked up. It was an Ultra Pro um, <laughs> Magic one, as you can see. And the pages have been battered. So I've actually got, someone kept pointing this out to me today. I was like, yes, I know, my binder is ripped. There you go. So you can see down here, it's ripped. Um, but this, this binder, I've had this for six years. I've used it, I've abused it. It's very, very good. I would use these binders for trading, hands down. I would not take um, these big guys out for training. Uh, trading, sorry, this is only for uh, collection-wise. So hands down. Definitely collection-wise on those. I've shown you loads of binders in the past. I've shown you Ultra Pro um, Luxury Binder. And they're great for collections, like small collections, like ulti collection or anything like that. Um, and definitely go from there. Uh, but I hope you like this video. I hope it gave it a, something a bit different. It was uh, definitely a different intake in what, in what they are and what they can do. Uh, I certainly, <laughs> like I said, I love these. I think these are great. Both of them are going to be good. Um, uh, and whichever one picture fancy. So if you do actually have a personal preference of which one you've already liked, if you've already got one, then please let me know in the comments down below. But for now... Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And then as always, guys, happy dawning.